Hi, I'm Lisa. I live in the beautiful New Zealand. This is Back to Bread, Back to Jesus. I want to share my encounters with God so you can also walk with the presence of Jesus every day. I have prophetic giftings and my heart is for you to encounter God and experience breakthrough in your life through these videos. I feel called to speak life and bring people to the foot of the cross. So welcome to Back to Bread. Hey guys, welcome back to Back to Bread. This is my first video since being back to Israel and I'm so excited to see you guys, to have you join me for this and to share a word that Holy Spirit spoke to me about a week ago and I just feel like He just wants to encounter you today. He wants to just let you know how close He wants to be with you. So He just... He spoke this word to me and I want to just share it now. He said to me, do not underestimate oneness, beloved. There's a word for it. And I knew he meant in the Hebrew or the Greek. And so I looked it up and in the Greek it means unity or agreement, harmony from sharing likeness of the nature with the Lord. And then he said, and then I actually asked him, how do we get oneness with you, Father? And he said, seek me, seek my face, come into the secret place, have a meal with me. And so I said, just one. And he said, that's all it takes. And he was talking to me about the ecclesia. This word ecclesia, he keeps showing me, which means actually bringing people closer to God. A lot of the time I've heard of the word ecclesia and it means like the body of Christ or the church and things like that, but I looked it up and it actually means the original meaning of Ecclesia meant that people would be brought closer to God. And he spoke to me again and he said, I have eyes on the church, those belonging to the Lord. I am raising up a spirit-filled army. I am raising an army on earth and in heaven. And I knew he meant establishing. He said, nothing is too hard for me, too much for me. I write the new thing with a pen in my right hand, right into being. I have never stopped writing or overseeing, beloved. That is why I say I am with you even unto the end of the world. So he was really saying, this is like a comforting thing going, he's with you. And I just know he wants you to know that right now. He is so with you right now. I can literally feel he is he is sitting with people right now who are watching this. He's sitting with you, right behind you, right beside you. He wants you to feel his presence. So I thank you, Father, that you're encountering people right now with your presence. Thank you, Jesus, that you're making yourself known and that people would be open to receiving that love and that peace and that joy that you bring, that beautiful presence. Thank you for that, God. And he just... After he, he said that to me, he led me to a few scriptures. So in Ephesians 4 verse 1 to 3, the Apostle Paul wrote this while he was in prison. So this is the reference to being a prisoner of the Lord. So he said, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace and that unity of spirit I looked it up this unity word it means oneness especially the God produced unity the oneness between believers the harmony from sharing likeness of nature with the Lord and it means a close inner identity which produces close harmony between members who are joined closely together and I knew that he was just saying that oneness is the oneness he wants to have with us when Holy Spirit dwells in us, when we know that we have the dunamis power, Jesus living in us, that is how close the oneness, oh, I can just feel the Father's heart on that. Wow. He just wants to be one with you. He wants you to know how close He is in your life, but also how powerful He can move in your life when you let Him in, when you let Him in close into that place of oneness. And that word peace, where it says in the bond of peace, it says God's gift of wholeness. 
and I have experienced this wholeness and I know he wants me to share this with you right now. God's gift of wholeness, this bond of peace, when we're one with God, when we know he's in us, when he's walking literally with us, he can bring his peace so close to us that it's actually inside us by that point. We walk with his peace and his peace is God's gift of wholeness and he has made me whole. In the last, in the last month, I have experienced healing in my body so significantly and I know he wants me to share the, this with you right now. If you are waiting to be healed, if you are calling out to him for healing, in that place of oneness, in that place where God's gift of wholeness can come, his peace can come into you, that is the place of healing. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. And thank you that you will hear the pe heal the people who are watching this right now. Thank you, Father, that you're... Wow, he's just showing me... His will for you is that you made, are made whole, that you be made whole. Thank you, Father. That peace specifically means the Messiah's peace, the tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation in Christ. And I am assured of my salvation in Christ. I am assured of being redeemed of my salvation in Jesus like never before. And he is just showing me now again this vision it's a memory of this uh, marble piece of it looks like marble stone where Jesus body was laid after his body was broken for you his body was broken for you his body was broken for me and he spoke to me when I was at that place he said my body broken for you so when we come to know that salvation that his body was broken for us, the place of knowledge, of knowing of that, that's the peace, that's the place of peace that he wants us to come to, where we have God's gift of wholeness. So we have this inner identity of Christ because we are joined with other members of the body of Christ, but firstly because we are bound to Holy Spirit, the power in us. We are in a place of oneness with Jesus and we know our salvation in him. What a gift to know our salvation in him, to have that gift of peace. We are to be bound to Christ, to his peace and not to this world and not to its chaos or disunity. Jesus wants you to know your identity is found in him. So then in verse 11, Paul talks about the truth of the fullness of the body of Christ. So Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 16 says, And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow and may grow up in all things into him who is the head, who is Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, every person, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. And the word unite here is the same oneness word. And full means super abundance. It means the body of believers is that which is filled with the presence, the power, the agency, the riches of God and of Christ. So it means we are to walk as an agent of Christ. We walk with the presence and power and riches of God, the gift of God and Jesus. In that measure, it means the Lord himself as his being is the only ultimate measure of truth. So we are to have the whole full measure of the truth of God, of the truth of Jesus in us, with us. We are to walk filled with the presence and power of his truth, of resurrection power, that he died and rose again. 
that his body, yes, was broken, but it was resurrected in power. It was restored in your body. Thank you, God, is being restored right now. Thank you, Father, for the manifestation of your glory in the bodies of every person who is watching right now. Wow, for your glory, God, for everybody to see that it is you, Jesus, who rose from the grave. Thank you, Father. So we do that with Holy Spirit in us and the knowledge of the power of Jesus with us wherever we go. It's, I can feel it even now. It's like this cloak over me, like this, like Jesus in me, yes, but I can feel him all around me. Jesus, do it again. Give the people watching the same feeling that I have, the same knowing that you are in me, but you are all around me. Your presence, Jesus, fill those who are watching with a fresh infilling with your spirit, with the knowledge of your power, God, and cover them, blanket them with, with that cloak of your presence like you have given me, that gift that you have given me because it says freely we receive, freely we give. So I thank you, Father, for giving every person who is watching right now the knowledge of your presence. Thank you, Jesus. I believe we can expect to see miracles, signs and wonders everywhere we go because we are filled with the presence of Christ so others can see his love changes everything. And I want to tell you right now, today, his love changes everything, his peace. When that comes, when we experience, when we encounter his love, the fullness of the measure of the truth of his love for us, everything changes I also really wanted to encourage you today with a word the Lord spoke to me yesterday at the beach as I was watching the waves wash away all the seaweed and the sticks that had washed up on the shore. He said, can't you see I'm washing away your adversity? And I know that he meant, with that word adversity, he meant enemy, he meant trouble, he meant strife, he meant all of the things that have come against you lately. Can't you see he is washing away your adversity? Thank you, Jesus, for this word. In Psalm 54, David was crying out to God to save him from Saul. And after saying, God save me, in those first few verses of that chapter, by verse 6 and 7, if you read it, he completely changed the way he spoke. He started declaring victory. He said, I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen its desire upon my enemies. And the word trouble here means adversity. It means affliction, anguish, distress, tribulation, trouble. God is saying to you today, I'm washing away your adversity. The stress, worries, anxiety, issues, and the tribulation. You are clothed in white. You are clothed in righteousness. You are clothed in the presence of Jesus, the mighty one, the prince of peace, the king of kings. Thank you, Jesus. And you get to choose to be like David today and praise God before you see your breakthrough and victory. Thank you, God, for victory in every person's life who is watching this right now, in their families, in their communities. Victory over their adversities. Victory, they are more than an overcomer in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for washing away our tribulation and all adversity that has come near us. Because it can't truly touch us or overcome us. It can only come near. So I thank you, Father, for overcoming that. For removing that oppression, that adversity from their life right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are faithful and you are a promise keeper. Our God is faithful. He is a promise keeper. He has moved so powerfully in my life. And I thank God right now that he is about to move in your life in the same way. And even greater, I ask you, God, to move even greater in the people's lives who are watching this right now. Thank you, Lord, that they have invested their time to watch this, to seek you, to get to know you more, to Learn the heart of the Father that is so for them, that your love abounds for them. Jesus, that your presence 
can walk with them, in them, all around them, every day. Thank you, Jesus, that you are here, that you are with us. As believers, we get to experience and walk with the presence of Jesus. Wherever we go, we can experience, encounter, and see that miracle-working power everywhere we go. And I thank you, Father, that you will start to see, you will start to show every person who is watching right, right now, you will start to show them the miracles that can happen when they step out in faith, when they start to know that peace and the truth of your promises, God, that you overcame the grave, you overcame death, you overcame adversity. And we thank you, Father, that you help us to overcome our adversity by knowing the truth and resurrection power and the peace that passes all understanding that is a gift from God. So I thank you, Father, for that gift right now. And I ask, Lord, for a seed of hope, of faith, of the knowledge of your truth, Lord, just like you gave me that seed of the truth to be planted so deep in everybody who is watching right now. Thank you, Father, that they will know they will have a knowing of the power of Jesus that rests in them and upon them, that cloak that goes with them everywhere they, they go, that presence, Lord, the power of your presence as well, Lord, that everywhere they walk in a room, the atmosphere shifts, the atmosphere changes, everything changes, people are healed just because they are in the room, because the power of God is in them, the peace of Jesus is in them, the miracle working power. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Oh, and I just pray that you bless everybody who is watching right now. Thank you, Father, that you are with them. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. That you're encountering them even now with that peace, that weighty peace. Your glory, God. And even when they sleep, you will encounter them with that beautiful peace, that weighty peace that heals their hearts, transforms them into the image of God, into the very being of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that you said you write things into being. And I thank you that you are writing transformation into their very being right now. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So bless you guys. I hope that really encourages you today. I am just so aware of his presence, wanting to be in that place of oneness with us. He wants to be one with us. He wants to know how we are one with him. So I thank you God for unity. And bless you guys and I will see you again real soon. If you feel like this video has blessed you in any way, feel free to subscribe, share with somebody who you think it might be helpful for, and check out our website in the description below.